the introduction of a new toy not only brings delight to the child, but also to parents, grandparents, and other gift-giving adults. Unfortunately, this happiness can swiftly turn to sorrow if the toy is found to be defective, leading to potential injury or illness. Join us on this enlightening journey as we uncover the 10 most dangerous toys for kids that should never make their way into your shopping list. 10. CSI Fingerprint Analysis Kit Children interested in playing CSI can utilize a kit that demonstrates the process of dusting for fingerprints, which involves blowing away excess powder. However, it has been discovered that the play dust in some kits contains asbestos, specifically up to 7% of tremolite, one of the most lethal forms of asbestos. A single exposure to asbestos has been associated with the development of lung disease and mesothelioma many years or even decades later. The Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization conducted a five-month examination, revealing the presence of this toxic substance in six out of eight samples tested. This investigation also uncovered asbestos in toy clay. Now, one would hope that upon discovering this hazardous mix-up, Planet Toys sprang into action, swiftly recalling every kid in existence. Unfortunately, the harsh reality is that the official recall for the CSI kit didn't take place until 2009. 9. Easy Bake Oven Hasbro faced a dual recall challenge with its Easy Bake Ovens, prompted by unfortunate incidents where several children suffered burns, particularly on their fingers, due to mishaps involving the miniature appliances. The severity of the situation reached a distressing point, with one reported case involving a girl who had to undergo partial finger amputation as a result of her experience. Recognizing the gravity of the safety concerns, Hasbro took proactive measures to address the issue. The company implemented not one, but two recalls in 2007 to rectify the problems associated with the Easy Bake Ovens. In response to these incidents, and as part of their commitment to child safety, Hasbro made a significant design change for the newer version of the Easy Bake Oven. This updated model features an electric heating element instead of the previous light bulb heating mechanism, aiming to mitigate the risk of burns and enhance the overall safety of the popular tie. 8. Hasbro's Javelin Darts Hasbro's Javelin Darts deviated significantly from the conventional indoor dart experience. To draw a vivid comparison, if a standard indoor dart resembled a semi-grumpy porch wasp, the outdoor Javelin Dart could be equated to a colossal Asian martyr hornet. Launched with considerable velocity and minimal skill, a common approach among youthful lawn dart enthusiasts, the Javelin Dart posed a serious threat, capable of piercing the skull, as tragically demonstrated in 1970 when a four-year-old lost their life. This incident was just one of a minimum of two fatalities recorded among the 6,100 emergency room injuries related to lawn dots between 1970 and 1988. Though the deadly lawn dots are no longer commercially available, vintage sets may still be found, albeit with a low likelihood of encountering them. Alternatively, a contemporary version of the lawn dart has emerged, featuring blunt rubber heads that eliminate the risk of skull penetration. 7. Burby and Tanner Burby's 2007 set aimed to instill a sense of responsibility in pet ownership, but an unforeseen issue arose that pushed the boundaries. In this edition, Tanner the pup was designed to simulate eating and, let's say, disposing of food. However, a concerning flow emerged the magnet inside the scooper accessory could become dislodged. This seemingly innocent feature took a dangerous turn, particularly for toddlers who might ingest more than one magnet. The repercussions of such an occurrence could lead to serious health issues, such as intestinal perforation or blockage, underscoring the unintended risks associated with what was intended to be a playful and educational tie. 6. The Belt Buckle Derringer by Mattel This toy hails from an era when societal norms were quite distinct, a time when it was deemed acceptable to discharge a diminutive plastic bullet encased in brass capable of launching up to 15 feet in a seemingly unpredictable trajectory. The ammunition was further enhanced with a small exploding cap to simulate a resounding bang noise, and the whole operation was conveniently orchestrated from the region around one's midsection. Numerous incidents occurred where unsuspecting eyeballs found themselves in harm's way. Surprisingly, for those who view this as a nostalgic masterpiece, these relics can still be found. 5. Magnetics Magnetics is a toy set designed for constructing various creations using small magnetic balls and plastic pieces equipped with magnets at the ends, allowing the components to attach to one another. 
It became a parent's nightmare in 2007 when one child died and 28 others suffered serious injuries after swallowing the magnets that had fallen out of the plastic pieces. The manufacturer ultimately recalled some 4 million kits, but still sells a redesigned version today with updated labeling. 4. Skydancers For those not acquainted with them, Skydancers were enchanting fairy dolls, distinguished by their wing-like arms. Placing your dancer in the base, a gentle tug on the string would make her arms extend, initiating a twirl through the sky. However, the whimsy came with risks as these rigid plastic figures had no control over their flight path. Regrettably, injuries ensued, including scratched corneas, temporary blindness, mild concussions, facial lacerations, and more. The magical flight sometimes had unintended consequences. Galoob Toys Inc. grounded these playthings for good, recalling about 8.9 million of them in 2000. 3. Snack Time Cabbage Patch Doll The Snack Time Cabbage Patch Doll, released in the early 90s, was a toy that aimed to add an interactive element to the beloved Cabbage Patch Kids franchise. However, its execution led to unintended hazards. The doll was designed to eat plastic snacks provided, which children could then retrieve from a compartment in the doll's backpack. The concerning aspect emerged when it became apparent that the doll's mechanical jaws, intended for minching on the snacks, posed a risk. The doll lacked the discrimination to distinguish between plastic snacks and other objects, leading to incidents where children's fingers, hair, and clothing were accidentally caught and entangled in the doll's motorized mouth. 2. Tie Crossbows Throughout history, toys featuring projectile launchers have consistently raised safety concerns for children. A missile shooting spaceship from the 70s, for instance, prompted the implementation of modern choking warnings. Despite the known risks, these items maintained their popularity among consumers. China took action last year to address a trend involving toothpick crossbows, renowned for their ability to pierce a can from a distance exceeding 60 feet. Even a reputable brand like Nerf faced scrutiny in 2017 with its Nerf Zombie Strike Dread Bolt crossbow. The recurring challenges associated with projectile launchers underscore the ongoing importance of vigilance and regulatory measures to ensure the safety of children during play. 1. Trampolines Trampolines, known for their exhilarating bounce, carry a nuanced mix of joy and risk that has prompted concerns about safety. Recent data reveals that these dynamic play structures contribute to around 90,000 hospital visits each year. In response to the potential dangers, the American Academy of Pediatrics stakes a precautionary stance, recommending against recreational trampolining. The risks associated with trampolines encompass various factors, including collisions between users, falls from the trampoline, and improper landings. This spectrum of incidents can lead to a wide range of injuries, from common fractures and concussions to more severe outcomes like paralysis or, regrettably, fatalities.